The Long Bunker Shot. This is considered one of the hardest shots to play in golf, so it's important that you have a really solid technique, something that you can go to every time you're faced with a shot like this. It'll give you the confidence to get the ball up and out the bunker and hopefully somewhere around the flag. But before we get to that, as always, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So why do we find this shot so difficult to play? Now with a usual greenside bunker shot, the first thing you probably do is grab your sand wedge, maybe a 56, a 58 or 60 degree wedge. And if you don't have very far to go at the flag, that club usually would be okay. But right now I've got 30 yards to the flag. So if I was to pull the most lofty club in my bag, I'd have to be very, very precise. I'd be trying to clip that golf ball off the top of the sand, get it out to the flag, maybe a little bit of spin and stop it close. Now that looks great, it looks very impressive, but it leaves us very little margin for error. So the first thing I want you to consider when you're playing this shot is your club selection. I want you to try and play this shot with something like a pitching wedge, a nine iron, or an eight iron. What that's gonna allow you to do is swing the club a little bit easier, you're not gonna have to hit it so hard, and you can take a little bit more sand. So that takes certain things out of the equation, like thinning it, flying it straight over the green, or maybe chunking it and leaving it in the bunker. Now the first thing I like to do is grip down the golf club slightly. Just because we're using a longer club than we usually do for the shot, and I feel like it just gives me a little bit more control. Now some of you, when you're playing a normal bunker shot, you might open that club face up as much as you can, but because the club face is open, you then point your body off to the left and you feel like you swing left, because the face is pointing out to the right, and that just helps you get the ball on target. But with this shot, I only want you to open the club face up just ever so slightly, because the main thing is that we get the golf ball out and we want to try and get it running towards the flag. So if you're going to open that face slightly, just do that first and then you can grip down the club. So as usual when you're in a bunker, you can take a nice wide stance. You can wriggle your feet about just to give you a nice solid base so you don't slip around when you're hitting the shot. And in our weight distribution, we're just going to feel like we're about 60% on our left side. And then in terms of our ball position, if we were playing a normal iron shot, we might be playing in the middle of our stance somewhere around there, but we are going to bump the golf ball forward. Again, if you're out practicing this shot, you can just draw a line down the middle of your stance, just again as a visual reminder for you. So every time you set up to play the shot, that's where you want your ball position to be. Now this is one of the most difficult parts of bunker play, is where do we hit that sand. Now as a marker I think it's quite good to aim around two to three inches behind the golf ball, it means we get it out and we'll get it running towards the flag. Now it's unlikely you're probably going to hit that spot every single time but again it's just something to go to when you need to play the shot under a bit of pressure and you just want to make sure you get the golf ball out and you get it running. So again another thing that you can use this line for when you're out practicing is when the golf ball slightly further forward than that we're just going to try and hit two to three inches behind that so you can try and strike the line when you're hitting the shot. Again obviously you only do this when you're practicing, when you're out in the golf course you're not going to have that luxury unfortunately. Now this is where a little bit of trial and error comes in. How hard do we want to hit that golf ball? Now as I say, I've got a nine iron here, so I'm not going to be hitting it as hard as if I had maybe a 50 or a 60 degree wedge. So what I suggest is when you're out practicing, maybe take a three quarter swing with this club and just see what kind of result you get. This is why it's important to practice this shot before you're faced with it on the golf course, because you need to know how the golf ball is going to react. Now I hope this video has helped you get in the practice area, give it a go yourself. If you've got any questions at all, drop them in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time.